Abdullah bin Amr. Abdullah bin Amr, may Allah be pleased with him, was the son of the famous companion Amr bin As. He was committed earnestly into serving the Deen of Allah. So much so that he had to be forced by his father to get married. On his wedding night, Abdullah bin Amr asked his new bride the permission to offer two rakat of salah. She granted him permission so he went off to pray. In his kushu of conversing with Allah, he forgot all about his bride and continued praying until the Adana Fajr was heard. Next day he promised himself to tend to his bride. The second night he requested his wife once more to allow him to offer two rakat a prayer. Again he forgot all about his marriage and prayed until Fajr. This happened thrice in a row. Until Amr bin As came on the third day to check up on his daughter-in-law and asked her about his son Abdullah so she told him the whole story. Amr bin As grabbed his son by the neck and took him to the Prophet Muhammad to remind him about the rights of others and of our body on us. Abdullah bin Amr hence reported that Prophet asked, Have I not been informed that you offer prayer all the night and fast the whole day? I said, Yes. He said, Do not do so, offer prayer at night and also sleep, fast for a few days and give up fasting for a few days because your body has a right on you, and your eye has a right on you, and your guest has a right on you, and your wife has a right on you. I hope that you will have a long life, and it is sufficient for you to fast for three days a month as the reward of a good deed, is multiplied ten times, that means, as if you fasted the whole year. I insisted, on fasting more, so I was given a hard instruction. I said he can do more than that, fasting the Prophet said, fast three days every week. I said, I can fast more than that. The Prophet, said, fast as Allah's Prophet David, half of a year. He used to fast on alternate days. He wasn't given further permission. Lessons learned from his story. I learned that each one of us has a different capacity and passion to do things. Sometimes we're so engrossed in dunya that we forget the akira, while sometimes we're so engrossed in the ibadah that we forget the rights of people Allah has blessed us in this dunya. Neither extreme is good. We can't say that we are only going to give the rights of human beings and that's enough because Allah will forgive us. And we can't dedicate worship for old age and keep dunya for our youth either. And we can't say that we've given our all to Allah and hence we won't be questioned about our responsibilities in terms of our relationship with people around us. Balance, though hard to find, is something that our religion teaches. And if you see the life of Muhammad, you'll see that this balance is achievable. This hadith is a clear indication that you can achieve balance if you know where your focus should be. May Allah help us all achieve such a balance.